All right, how's it going, guys? Um, Matt was nice enough to send me uh, one of these new Max Mobility sleeves he, he made. Um, I'm just going to go through kind of my impressions of it. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll take you through some of the stuff I've been doing with it, uh, some of the weights I've been using, um, and why I like it so far. Um, all right, so I've got a 35-pound kettlebell. This is on the lighter side of what I've been using. And you pretty much just, I don't know, pin it there. Slide this guy right over it. So as you see on the 35, it's a little loose. Um, but one of the things I've been really liking about it is right in here through my VMO, uh, I had some knee, knee trouble earlier this year and I had a hard time getting in really deep into the joint um, hard enough with my thumb, really anything else. So I've just been holding this here. I just sit and watch TV, get a couple minutes with this on the, on the knee. Uh, I just move it around. You can actually swing to the edge of the bed, and you can do some ART with little knobs, and it gives you plenty of pressure even with the 35. Uh, most of the time on my legs, I've been using a 53, but. I'm traveling today to um, where I, I'm in Lawrence, Kansas for their uh, downtown shop put meet. So I borrowed this kettlebell from a local gym. Didn't have to bring it with me. I just brought the sleeve and if you can find a ball or something heavy, you can use the sleeve on the road, which I think is going to be great for me because we travel a ton. Um, so you just go through the knee and then another really good spot. Um, I have something like the ex-wife, so I have a big piece of steel, uh, and I've been rolling that on my legs. This pin points a, a little bit more than that. Um, really getting up into your groin, and you can just push down on it. Most of the time, just let it sit there. Uh, I need a little more pressure than a 35 for my legs, so, um, today I was using most, it mostly on my chest because I did a light bench workout. Um, just 455 for a single one, um two doubles at 405 um, but yeah you go through go through the legs and then one great thing about the lighter dumbbell or lighter kettlebells um, I've actually just been sitting in a chair and doing it but you really don't have to pay a whole lot of attention once you got it on the spot you want it on uh, you just lay down and just move your arm around I've really been um, Doing a lot of air too on my on my packs. They don't get a lot of work just because it's not something you think about every day. Um, and then, being a shot putter, I'm very one-sided, so a lot of my ribs get get moved. I have subluxated ribs on my left side all the time just from my blocking. Um, and these nubs, like usually it's my first, second, or third rib. I can just pop one of these guys on there and forget about it for a few minutes while I'm watching TV and eventually that little muscle group, the, the connection right there to my sternum loosens up and it actually gives me a lot of release in my back too. So you just sit there with it on your chest. Um, I've really been liking it. it. It's a lot less labor intensive. I mean, it's a heavy thing, but it's a lot less labor intensive than if you were to just Try to dig in there yourself with your thumb or something. Um, and another thing that it's great for, I think, is just having it sit on your traps. Traps are not something that get worked on a lot, so you can just sit here and roll it back and forth. And those little knobs really dig in there. You get a nice stretch up the side of your head and relieve a lot of that tension. Um, And then you, um, another thing with the lighter dumbbell, or kettlebell, I keep calling it a dumbbell, uh, is we get a lot of forearm pain in the shot put, so I'm able to just let it sit on all my extensors here, um, and just slowly roll it down your arm. It's just a, it's a good idea, Matt. Good work. Um. I definitely think it would be beneficial to have a couple different sizes. Um, 
just sizes of sleeves so people get like I don't know for me it would be awesome to get one that would fit on a shot put I know that's just for me I'm a pretty small market um, but if I could get one of these that I could put on a shot put I travel with a shot put all the time anyway so uh, that would give me the perfect training tool a rehab tool I guess um, but yeah I've just been I've been playing around with it I have a 53 pound kettlebell at home and that's about ideal for my hips and stuff. Anything much bigger than that, you're gonna stretch it a little too much. Um, but I think anywhere from probably about 30 to 60 pounds, I don't know what Matt's used it, used it for so far, but um, that's about the range that I've been working in. But another really great thing is you just sit here and on the inside, it not only trigger, or puts a nice point on your quad insertion um, right there, but it also stretches your hip at the same time. So that's a, that's a nice little benefit. Um, yeah, I mean, those are my first impressions. So far, I love it. Um, it's just another tool in the arsenal, uh, trying to keep yourself healthy and keep competing. Uh, so good work so far, Matt. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, thank you.